So here we go, two very interesting little models, and I mean little. About the size of your hands, roughly. This guy's a little bit more, the F22. Cheap toy planes, but are they fun? Do they always have to be serious planes to be fun? So just gonna check them out today. The Try the F22 already, very capable for the size of it. A lot of fun, doesn't have a rudder, has ailerons, elevator. It turns by means of variable propulsion on either motor, brushed motors. This little galaxy ship <laughs> doesn't even have ailerons. It uh, just relies on differential thrust between the motors. Brushed motors again, battery in there. A little bit windy here today. The gods have spoken. But anyway, let's take it up and see how we get on. So, really, you know, you just sort of, sort of fling this thing. It has a gyro, which is terrific for the sort of breezy weather. Just throw. That wasn't planned, and that was so fluky. High rates, cheapers. Okay, that's interesting. Um, things were a little bit out of control there, but you know, there's a lot of breezes. Oh, look at that. A prop has blown off. At least it came with spare props if I can't find this one. So let's go looking. Okay, prop is reattached. Throttle. Ah, there we go. Lovely. Overdue rates. Ridiculous breeze. Okay. No fault. Absolutely no fault of this plane. I've flown this in light breezes and it's loads of fun. Wind is just a bit too strong today. Give her one more try. There she is hovering. on the power for turning. Look, it's a breezy day, too breezy for flying any sort of plane seriously, but this is a bit of fun. Ah, that's, that's more than you could ask of any gyro. <laughs> so this is fun, it's very small, and I think if you live any place where that is breezy, it's gonna struggle, but if you're someplace that there isn't much wind and you're near a pond or flat flat water this could be a lot of fun let's check out the f22 and see how that compares we'll just give this one more try i can't resist you do a bit of alpha That she, can, she can fight the wind, that's half throttle. If you bike too hard, it goes upside down into a situation like that. And I don't like that because that's in the mud. And I don't think this will unstick. Yeah. Good example, okay. Anything other than super smooth, she's not lifting anytime soon. So I'm gonna to have to retrieve that. Time to get your feet wet, Davy. So, search and rescue. Cause this puppy just can't even lift off mud. So land, sea, air, not sticky mud. That's, that's the drawback of brushed motors. She just can't lift, she's landed there. So,
white tempt face I think let's call that that's not today anyway so look a fun toy not much of a plane except in very calm conditions I'm glad I got it I'm sure I have some friends will enjoy trying and learning because it does give you a grasp of basic remote control flying and that's a good thing and because it's so robust and cheap you're not going to feel quite so bad if something happens it let's take a look at the dearer slightly dearer option still a very cheap option relatively speaking of this f22 and see how we get on okay exact same weather conditions with the little f22 you can see sizes very similar but the f22 in my mind has more features motors are further apart so better for steering very responsive supposed to be capable of vertical flight and it even has lights underneath so this is not good weather for flying okay at all but it's a good test to see you know how robust are these little puppies because they're small here we go in 6g mode oh lovely straight away that's nice isn't it I'm in control, it's responsive, look. Low rates. Have to look for higher rates. Just, I have to be careful not to run away. Now, for the fun of it, I'll stick it into full non-acrobatic mode there in a moment. But, you know, it's so breezy, it really will just highlight how difficult it is to fly that really you are relying on. There we go. Oh, that's vertical. Let's get back out of it. Sorry, I know so far away. That's no non-assisted. 6G. Things get out of hand. I come into land. <laughs> but look bashed into me no problems let's see if we can take off let's see will she just fly in vertical mode straight off bit of a challenge now with this wind it does beautifully and that's terrible wind here terrible wind bring it in Bring it close to me. Vertical. Lovely. Look. So for 20 or 30 dollars extra, you're getting a heck of a lot more. Fun factor. Back into full. Lovely. 6G. Three, sorry. Getting myself confused there. I was going to non gyro back into gyro. She's in 6G there now again. That's fun. For me, this is buckets more fun than the other plane. I'm glad I tried it. But in this place, this environment, this is Ireland and it's predominantly breezy. So. Any toy that's too lightweight just can't handle it. 6G bit of throttle. Look at that. I'd say battery's running low, that's what that is. Can't be faulted. Love it. So, if you're on the lookout for a cheap remote control type of plane, toy plane, plane, that has elevators, ideally, ideally a, rot uh, a rudder, 
maybe ailerons maybe not and you're on a really tight budget and you're afraid to spend too much money for fear of damaging stuff so easily these are two great options but for me for this type of spec and I'm not comparing them to normal RC planes I scored this little galaxy ship galaxy ship like four to five out of ten in this class I give this a very strong eight out of ten there's really little more you could ask for eight close to nine so that's my opinion hope this was interesting and informative and thanks for watching thumbs up